guys welcome back to my channel my name is sugar and this is sugar's realm the feedback i got from the last two cooking videos i did were really exciting so i thought to throw in another recipe today we're going to be cooking banga soup it's indigenous to the people of um delta state i think it's actually for the urobo people i'm not sure if it's cuts across urobo shakiri and Ijo and so and all of all those but i know for sure that it is an urobo meal and Today I'm going to show you how to make it if you're not in Nigeria because in Nigeria it's a little more stressful because you have to do everything from the beginning but this is the easiest way like this is so fast so easy so yummy so just stick with me and watch how I prepare my banga soup in my kitchen Okay guys, let's start with the ingredients. Um, for this soup, I'm going to use catfish and snails. I already washed my catfish and snails. So I'm using catfish, snails, and then I have um, my stockfish already in hot water because I want it to be really soft. So I already put it in hot water to start um, softening. Then I have the palm nuts. So this is the magic, right? In Nigeria, you have to buy the um, banga or the palm nuts and then wash it, which is an annoying process. But here we already have this like when i saw this i was like oh my god i have to try this because i knew that i wasn't going to get the raw banga to wash anyways but yeah this is what i'm going to use i already washed the top because ha, you never can tell so always wash the top of your containers your tins and um stuff like this before you use them and then i have the banga spices this one is from uh, mosaic foods i tend to buy a lot of stuff from them because well for some reason i don't know they have everything almost everything actually like african stuff foods so i tend to to go to their part of the shop every time i see it but yeah amazing stuff usually in nigeria they have like banga spices you can buy the actual banga spices and then um there's something called benetete i think it's a leaf that actually makes or breaks the banga soup so if you go to if you want to make banga in nigeria just go to the market and ask people that sell spices for banga spices right I think this contains the benefits because it tastes just like banga soup with all the regular spices in Nigeria. So I think this is a mix of everything. So that works perfectly. Then I have salt, I have um, pepper, and I have crayfish. So um, as I said in one of my previous videos, I'm trying not to use seasoning cubes. So I'm going to use just salt. And then this is all I'm going to be using. And then of course I'm going to use water. Right. So. Right now, I'm going to start cooking my banga. Just come along with me. If you haven't subscribed, this is a good time to click on the subscribe button. If you have subscribed, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for dropping comments. I see them all and I'm really, really grateful. Okay, guys, let's cook. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually um, boil my, not boil, parboil my snails because I want them to be um, a little soft. This is not going to take time at all to get cooked. So I want to parboil the snails first so that when i put them in the soup they can just cook together with the soup and the fish and then everything is just perfect if i was using any other kind of meat i would have boiled it first before the process but since i'm using catfish which doesn't take time to get cooked i'm not going to purple this i'm going to put it at the same time with every other thing and then they will all cook together so right now i'm just going to put my um snails in the pot and then put some water in the pots and some salt and onions and then i'm just going to boil it so i'll be back after the boiling this so right now i just want to open my palm um palm cream this is banga oil cream um i'm not sure what but if you don't know what banga is it's actually palm nuts where they make palm oil from but i think it's processed in a different no, i think it is processed in a different way from how palm oil is made but it's made from the same palm front palm nuts aha so this is what it looks like it's really thick that's why i'm going to add water if you're using the banga that you wash by yourself because i think people said it's still like already washed banga in nigeria so it's a lot um 
it's a lot more liquid than this so you don't have to add water to it right this is really thick so you definitely have to add water because it this is it runs soup that as you cook it it gets thicker so you definitely have to add see it's this thick right so you definitely have to add water to it so that it will be um it will be better for you to cook um fun fact the first time i cooked banga soup here i had to call my mom to tell me what to do <laughs> because i had actually never cooked banga by myself so i called her on a video call and she actually talked me through the process and it was really, really yummy but now i'm a pro so yeah we move <laughs> so i'm done um her boiling the snails now i'm going to start cooking i'm using these mighty pots because of the catfish i want them to um be able to contain into the pot properly so now I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to empty it into the pot. Remember when I was younger, for some weird reason, I did not really like banga soup, but I loved licking the palm um, nuts. So when my mom would buy the palm nuts for banga soup, I would just take some of them wash it and start licking it it got so bad that when i was in university one day i saw somebody hawking um <laughs> the banga that's the palm nuts and i bought it and then i was eating it raw it was like i was eating palm oil but i loved it like oh my goodness i'm sure if i still see raw banga to now i would definitely <laughs> still eat it it's amazing now i'm going to add water like i said because it is thick like it is this thick see can't follow this one i'm going to add water i can turn on the gas now i'm going to add water and then just stir it So I'm done stirring it. It's a whole lot more watery now. So like when you wash the banga um, from the fruits, it is just about this watery because you keep adding water and adding water and then um, you keep washing it, right? So I'm just going to add all the ingredients right now into the soup so everything can cook together. my stock fish now I need my crayfish and my pepper I'll probably add more pepper shot because <laughs> this pepper looks like it's too small and then I'm gonna add salt I always like adding my um, salt in bits so I don't regret it <laughs> And then now I'm going to add the banga spices. And then I'm going to stir this and taste it before I add the catfish. Because when you add the catfish, it becomes harder to stir it, right? Okay, I'm just going to finish the salt. <laughs> as i thought i'm going to add more pepper and salt because there is actually no pepper <laughs> perfect so now i'm going to add my catfish and then just let it cook Please don't cover your banga when you're cooking it because I don't know why. 
but you're not supposed to cover the pots of banga when you're cooking it. So just leave it open with like a guano soup. Just leave it open to cook. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay guys, I've turned up the fire because it's splashing like crazy. See how it messed up everywhere. Anyway, this is how I know that my soup is done. I can see the oil on top, floating. And I know that yes, my banga soup is ready. So I'm just gonna serve this and make some pounded yam and eat it. Nom nom. Okay, so this is what it is like now. See, it's a lot thicker than how it was oh, at the beginning. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks like when it's served. Thank you for watching to this point. Thank you for subscribing because I'm be believing that you have subscribed if you hadn't already before. Also, let me know if you want me to make something else, like show you guys how to make something else, and I'll definitely do that. That's if I can make it, or if I cannot make it, I will tell you. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again. My name is Sugar, and this is Sugar's Realm. Bye bye.